are you? I'm intercepting suspect outside of the security station. The Bourne Conspiracy is that rare breed of game, a movie tie-in that is actually worth playing. Instead of the usual agglomeration of half-baked gameplay and derivative set pieces, what you get here is a solid, enjoyable game. Matt Damon hasn't lent his likeness to the game, so the version of Bourne you'll be playing is generically rugged. The character models are large and well-styled, and the graphics are impressive, if a little unvarying in their devotion to moody grey tones. You have to leave tonight. Tonight wasn't the plan. Lombosi well, wasn't part of the plan either. That's why we sent you. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a headache. So take an aspirin and get moving. Radio wants you in position. Yes, sir. There is a plot here, but you'll barely notice it, as the game's objectives are so short and action-packed. Rather than think of the big picture, you'll simply brawl and blast your way from one small map to the next. You'll never find yourself stumped either, as the constant fighting generates adrenaline, which can be used to activate the born instinct, a sort of in-game radar that guides you to important objectives. The first fight occurs barely a minute into the game, and the action rarely pauses from then on. The Bourne Conspiracy is challenging without ever being frustrating, and the same is true of the gunplay, with good shots snapping home in satisfying fashion. Fist fights, on the other hand, are less convincing. They're incredibly violent, but somewhere between the buttons on the controller and the blood on the screen, you'll find yourself wondering what the one has to do with the other. Often you'll discover mid-brawl that a quick tap of the B button will unleash some form of acrobatic skull smashing that seems to have nothing to do with you at all. That feeling is repeated in the many, many quick time events, when you'll find yourself simply watching cutscenes and pressing buttons when prompted. It's not particularly engaging, but you will be penalised for any slowness. Because of the storm. If you can tolerate these weaknesses, however, the solid action and breakneck pace of the game will keep you entertained. The lengthy boss fights will wear you out, and the whole experience will be worthwhile. <laughs>